Hi everyone, today we're going to do something very, very fun. We're gonna do time cert versus Healy coil. I don't really like Healy coils very much and I'll explain why and I'll even show you why. Time cert is my preferred thread repair kit. It comes with everything you need. If you buy a Healy coil set, you will need to supply your own drill bit. Hey everyone, Roger here from Ask Car Experts YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe. We're gonna be using the N20 wheel barrel for our repair today. The Healy coil kit is an M7 by 1.0 for an N52 and the time cert is an M6 by 1.0 for an N20. What do you get in a Healy coil package? You get the installing tool, you get these little spring guys which are actually what creates your threads and then you have a tap. So basically you tap the damaged area and then you use this tool to thread this in. Unfortunately, this little tab on the end, if that fails or bends when you're going in, you're done. And then you have to start all over or you have to go oversize. I would always recommend using a time cert. A time cert is gonna give you the drill bit. It's going to give you the tap that you need. It's gonna give you this tool right here, which cuts a lip that you need. You can see right here, the time cert is a solid piece. So it's a lot stronger. It, but it does have this bevel on the end, and that's what the purpose of this tool is right here, to cut that recess into the cylinder head or whatever you're working on so that this sits flush. This is going to be a way stronger repair. So this is what happens if you're starting a Healy coil and your tab breaks. Basically, you're just stuck with this piece that's stuck in the way and you could probably try to drill it out or pull it back out. It makes an already bad situation much worse. I'm gonna start by using the time cert and show you how to use that because that really is my preferred method anyways. So let's get right into this. Just remember, if you ever want to join Ask the Car Experts YouTube channel, hit the join feature, you get some perks. And if you have questions or problems with your car, you can talk to me one-on-one -on -one and I will contact you to help solve the problem. So if you're interested in becoming a patron and you need some one-on-one -on -one help with your car, don't hesitate to join Ask the Car Experts YouTube channel. Here's a pro tip that you gotta watch out for. So you have your drill and you're trying to put your drill bit in to start and you catch it. Check for the wobble, you can look at that. I don't really like to use the snap-on one because it doesn't grab anything straight like I wanted to. You see that wobble? If I tried cutting that, basically I'm just gonna elongate that hole if I try to use this setup. So make sure to watch out for the wobble. Remember to wear gloves and safety glasses. So first thing to know, you have to remember if you're dealing with an open hole or what would be considered a closed hole where there's a bottom. If you're dealing with the closed hole, you're gonna use a tool like a small screwdriver, put it down to the bottom, and then take a piece of tape and mark your depth. And then you'll mark your tools, and then using a piece of tape, you would just mark the depth that you're gonna to wanna to go with your tools. You can actually purchase different length Healy coils. Because of the wobble situation, I actually prefer to use a more traditional air 90 degree angle drill. Snug down our bit and we'll do our wobble test nice and straight. So this whole process is quite satisfying because you get to drill out some metal, re-tap the threads, and fix everything. So it's pretty awesome. So remember, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is lubricate everything. Cover your area if you're working in an area where you can get metal files into bits that you don't want it. So I'm just gonna cover that lightly. And the hole usually will help you stay straight, but you do wanna eyeball it. It's nice when you have two people so you can look at both accesses. You can look at one angle and the other angle. It's just me and I'm gonna be hissing at you as I do this because I'm using an air tool. So I'm gonna try to line this up. It's my right angle. <coughs> When you're drilling, you don't want to drill fast necessarily, just nice and slow if you can. That drill did a great job. This is aluminum, 
This BMW head is made out of aluminum anyways. It does cut rather easy. So all my threads are now gone. Step one. Now this is a set of bit adapters and I'll put a link in the description box and maybe a link in the upper right corner for this tool because it is a great tool to have. See how you have the square drive for any kind of um, tap like this. You can actually slide it in and it locks in and this now becomes just like a socket so I can just use a ratchet now to tap the holes. So the next step is to make some new threads. So again, the hole is going to guide you but you want to try to eyeball as straight as possible for when you catch and you cut. So take your time here to get your angle right. Once you get it started, now you have to either go to the measurement if you have a closed hole or a blind hole. This one goes all the way through, so I can just let the filings fall out the bottom. Remember, if you do have a blind hole, you're going to want to blow out the hole as you progress through because you don't want all of those filings causing a problem. So this is step two of the helicoil. Tap the hole. And I'm going to run this all the way down and then I'm still going to clean it and blow it out. You can see I can actually unscrew this by hand because I have some nice threads in there. And this is not when you put the time cert in. Not yet. There's another critical step that you have to do for the time cert. So using that same tool, I can find the right one for this here, which is the recess tool. So you want to go to the recess tool as your step three. And if you feel the hole right here, there's a little bit of a raised edge. That's when we cut the threads. It actually push, pushes some of the metal up. And the same thing happens on the helicoil, but you can't fix that on the helicoil. On the time cert, we're going to use this tool, which slides right in, and we're going to cut our recess. And that's going to clean that right up for us. So doing this by hand is a little bit more time consuming, but in my opinion, it kind of gives a better result. So you just need to have that as centered as possible and you're going to use this tool. You can see the little metal filings coming off and just keep going until it bottoms out. You can see there's some teeth right there, it's gonna reach a ledge. There's a ledge right there, and that's your stopping point. I don't know if you can see right there, it's beginning to create an indent, and that's for the recess for the time cert. You wanna take your time and do this right. You should be able to get to a point where you're not getting any more shavings, because if you don't do this right, then the time cert is not gonna sit nice and flush like you're gonna want it to be. Okay, make sure you blow out the hole. You can see that nice recess right there. Now we're gonna use the last parts of the kit, and that's the installation tool. You do wanna put a little bit of lubricant on the threads of the installation tool, and you're gonna take your time cert, and you're just gonna screw it on but it's not gonna go on all the way because the thread pitch is actually slightly different. So it's gonna grab and catch and that's gonna help us install it. And then as you drive this down and in, it's gonna stretch this out to match the threads that we need of a 1.0. Now, if we did everything right, we can go ahead and thread in and I'm using the same tool that I like to use. That's gonna fit right in and we have some nice threads. So this should make it very, very easy to just start threading in. It is going to get tighter. Okay, it's stopping there. Now you can put a little bit of Loctite on that too if you don't want it to come out. Look, it's already perfectly recessed. I love it. Now I'm going to have to make it so that the threads are the 1.0 pitch. I do have to continue 
to tighten this down. It's going to be tight. This is tightening the time cert against the cylinder head and the threads that we have. And it's also now making the 1.0 threads. So I have to go all the way past. Yep, I'm already loosening up because my threads are now 1.0. You can see how nice and easy that is right there. i be able to back that out by hand now. This really is the best way to do a thread repair. Use a time cert kit. And they sell them on Amazon. You can get all different ones. The M6 by one is for the N20 and the M7 by one is for the N52 engine. I do have a video on how to find out what thread pitch and what size bolt. And I'll put that up in the corner for you to take a look. That would be my how to use a tap and die video. So there it is right there, perfect. Nice and flush, so I don't have to worry about interference. And that thread is fixed and ready to go, and it's stronger than it's ever been. It's that easy to use a time circuit. Now this is the bolt for the valve cover. And look at that, threads in perfectly. I could torque that no problem and not have any worries whatsoever. So that is how you repair threads using a time circuit. I highly recommend it. Again, I'll put a link in the description box for this particular one, and I'll try to label the one for the N52 for you. It's that easy. Now to the messy Healy coil. So I've already drilled this out, and you can see the hole, it ends up being huge, because now I have to thread it into the threads and try to get it to catch. It even has a little lip on it, and this is the one that I couldn't get to catch right, and it's just, realistically, you're just setting yourself up for a bigger problem. So I would not recommend using Healy coils. So the M7 bolt calls for the 930 seconds drill. So I've gone ahead and I've just drilled that anyway, so that's good. Now you're supposed to tap the hole just like the other one. And I've already caught this one. We'll go ahead and, and run it in again to make sure everything is good. And then try, unsuccessfully probably, to go ahead and install that Healy coil. I just don't ever want to go in right. I don't like them. Yeah, you can see that the threads are perfectly fine there. So in theory, that Healy coil should walk right in. And they never do. That's why we switched to using time certs. It's such a better product. All right, so you can see me fail with this Healy coil. You have this tool here, which has this little tiny lip on it right here. And then it's supposed to catch the spring-like threads just by that and as you screw it in it's supposed to catch and then draw the spring into the threads you've created to create new threads sounds easy but it never is and then usually this tab because if you get too much tension this tab will actually catch and then break so this never wants to go in right never ever Maybe we'll go in with you guys watching, but probably not. All right, so I'm just trying to get it caught here so that we can thread it in. Even that's a pain in the keister. Of course, all of this stuff is made in China. So it doesn't really want to catch, and I know if I force it, it's going to break the tab. It's just caught just a tiny bit. Now, you can't even back it out if you want to because this is made... One way only with that little catch. Spink. All right, let's try that again. You saw, you know, I tapped it right. Everything looks like it should be fine. Uh, maybe I'm just being too pessimistic here. Maybe put some lubrication on it. I can get this to work. She so can't loosen it up. I feel like it's just going to bend that tab on me. I can see my end right there still spins, so she went. The lubrication helped a bit. It always does. Kind of want to go slow. Yep, right there. You can see it actually turning. This might be successful! I can't believe it! So you can see right there, she's gone. So clean the threads really well and lubricated it and I think this one's gonna go, I can't believe it. Man, so I was able to get the other one out of here. Yep, there she is, she's going. That's how it works, folks, for this one. And she's in.
So this helicoil is an M7. This is basically the installation tool. That is the M7 threads. So that threads into the helicoil fine. So while we were successful with the helicoil, I would also recommend sticking with the time cert. Here are the basic steps laid out one more time. Drill out the hole, tap the hole, put your recess in with this tool right here. Then use your installation tool, make sure to lube it and then use your time cert to create the perfect repair. Hope you guys enjoyed that demonstration using the time cert and the helicoil. I know that I've had a few questions on how to do a thread repair such as this. If you have just a slightly crushed thread, you might be able to fix it with a tap and die set. But if your threads are completely obliterated, you will have to repair it using a helicoil or I would recommend a time cert. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and I'll talk to you guys soon.